They have found a planet 10 times as heavy as Earth, four times as big. They call it Kaju, 10 times bigger than Earth, perpendicular to the plane of our solar system and the planets, causing them to tilt six degrees. The Kuiper Belt is also orbiting at the opposite direction of our planets. What is causing all this? The curious tilt of our Sun and a case for Planet X, Planet 9, Nibiru, Wormwood, Nemesis. There are so many names for this. This is by California Institute of Technology on FIS.org. Our Sun has a curious tilt and is traced to an undiscovered planet. Planet 9, the undiscovered planet at the edge of our solar system, predicted by the work of Caltech's Konstantin Batygin and Mike Brown in January 2016, appears to be responsible for the unusual tilt of our Sun. This is according to a new study. The large and distant planet may be added adding a wobble to the solar system, the whole solar system, giving the appearance that the Sun is tilted slightly. Quote, because Planet 9 is so massive and has an orbit tilted compared to other planets, the solar system has no choice but to slowly, slowly twist out of alignment. End quote. This is what Elizabeth Bailey said, graduate student at Caltech, lead author of a study announcing this discovery. All of the planets orbit in a flat plane with respect to the Sun, roughly within a couple of degrees of each other. That plane, however, rotates at a six-degree tilt with respect to the Sun, giving the appearance that the Sun itself is cocked off at an angle. Until now, no one had for found a compelling explanation to produce such an effect. Quote, it's such a deep-rooted mystery and so difficult to explain that people just don't talk about this, says Brown and Richard and Barbara Rosenberg, professor of planetary astronomy. Brown and Batigan's discovery of evidence that the Sun is orbited, orbited by an as yet unseen planet that is about 10 times the size of our Earth, with an orbit that is about 20 times farther from the Sun on average than Neptune's, changes the physics. Planet 9, based on their calculations, appears to orbit at about 30 degrees off from other planets' orbital plane, in the process influencing the orbit of a large population of objects in the Kuiper Belt, which is how Brown and Batigan came to suspect a planet exists there in the first place. Batigan, an assistant professor of planetary science, says, It continues to amaze us. Every time we look carefully, we continue to find that Planet 9 explains something about the solar system that had long been a mystery. Their findings have been accepted for publication in an upcoming issue of the Astrophysical Journal and will be presented October in American Astrophys Astronomical Society Division for Planetary Science annual meeting held in Pasadena. The tilt of our solar system's orbital plane has long befuddled, befuddled the astronomers because of the way the planets formed. As a spinning cloud slowly collapses first into a disk and then into objects orbiting a central star. Planet 9's angular momentum is having an outsized impact on the solar system based on its location and size. A planet's angular momentum equals the mass of an object multiplied by its distance from the Sun and corresponds with the force that the planet exerts on overall system's spin. Because the other planets in the solar system all exist along a flat plane, their angular momentum works to keep the whole disk spinning smoothly. Planet 9's unusual orbit, however, adds a multi-billion year wobble to that system. Mathematically, given the hypothesized size and distance of Planet 9, a 6 degree tilt fits perfectly, Brown says. The next question is, then, how did Planet 9 achieve its unusual orbit? Though that remains to be determined, Batigan suggests that the planet may have ejected from the neighboring the neighborhood of a gas giants by Jupiter perhaps may have been influenced by the gravitational pull of other stellar bodies in the solar system's extreme past. For now, Brown and Batigan continue to work with colleagues throughout the world to search the night sky for nines of Planet Nine, along with the path along the path they predicted, and that search, Brown says, may take three years or more.
and the new evidence for the existence of Planet Nine on Fizz.org, Bob Yurka, relating to the abstract from Caltech. The abstract says, we report the discovery and dynamic analysis of 215 BP 519, an extreme trans-Neptunian object detected by the Dark Energy Survey and a heliocentric distance of 55 AU and absolute magnitude HR 4.3. The current orbit determined from a 1,110-day observational arc has semi-major access for about 450 AU, eccentricity at 0 0.92, inclination of 54 degrees. With these orbital elements, 215 BP 519 is the most extreme trans-Neptunian object, TNO, discovered to date, as quantified by the reduced COSE action which is a conserved quantity at fixed semi-major axis for axisymmetric perturbations. We discussed the orbital stability and evolution of this object in the context of the known solar system and find that 215 BP 519 displays rich dynamical behavior, including rapid diffusion and semi-major axis and more constrained variations in eccentricity and inclination. We also consider the long-term orbital stability and evolutionary behavior within the context of the Planet 9 hypothesis and find that BP 519 adds to the circumstantial evidence for the existence of this proposed new member of the solar system, as it would represent the first member of the population of high I omega shepherded trans-Neptunian objects. So here they say, it adds to the circumstantial evidence for the existence of a new member of our solar system, proposed to be Planet 9, Planet X, Nibiru, Wormwood, Nemesis, uh, whatever name uh, they want to call it as. They've discovered this trans object with uh, perturbation and an arc and eccentricity. The uh, international team of researchers found that what they're describing is more evidence of the existence of Planet Nine or Planet X in their paper. And the group describes the behavior of this newly discovered distant object as suggestive of an influence of a large planet. We know that just three years ago, the astronomers from Caltech proposed the possibility of the existence of a large planet circling our sun. And they said it would take three to five years to find it, others say 10 years, it's a matter of time that is, which would make it the ninth known planet in our solar system. The researchers made their prediction based on the observation of the icy objects existing at the edge of our solar system. Their orbits were clearly being warped by a gravitational mass. And they suggested a very distant planet, roughly four times the size of Earth, but with 10 times the mass, could account for this odd behavior. Tilting of our planets, tilting of the Sun, 6 degrees. If such a planet does exist, it would be quite distant, taking from 10,000 to 20,000 years to make one trip around the Sun. Since announcing their initial findings, a team at Caltech published papers offering more evidence of the planet, the possibility it could have played a role in tilting the other planets in our solar system. They have also suggested it's an explanation of why objects in the Kuiper Belt orbit in an opposite direction to everything else. That I never even knew of. The objects in the Kuiper Belt orbit in an opposite direction to everything else? This is new. Now, in this new effort, researchers suggest a behavior of the Certain, certain trans-Neptunian object they have found could very well be due to gravity from planet 9, the object 215 BP 519, Kaju for short, was first noted approximately three years ago, but it was only recently that the shape of its orbit was found to be very unusual. It lies nearly perpendicular to the plane established by the known planets, and that makes the find so compelling is that the team of researchers who first proposed the existence of Planet Nine 
created a simulation that predicted the orbital angle of just such an object, and it happens to match with what has been found. The researchers report that after Kaju was first discovered, attempts were made to calculate its orbit, but they all failed. Then they added large planet to its simulations, which resolved the discrepancies. All this in needed now, they suggest, is for someone to actually find the planet. This is extra, this is astonishing. They found this, they called it Kaju, perpendicular to the planets, the orbits of our planets, and also that the Kuiper belt is orbiting the opposite direction of our planets. Astonishing. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.